Sinai Grace employees get noticed, our hospital welcomes a new nurse manager, and we have some great discounts for you. These stories and more coming up next on Sinai Grace Today. Hello, I'm Melanie Moss. Sinai Grace knows its employees go above and beyond, and recently several employees and departments were recognized for their great work. Ellen Portnoy just received word that her Flynn grant has been extended for another two years thanks to the successful use of the unique patient care model. Ellen, Dr. Berger, and their team have implemented an integrated patient care model that coordinates mental health care and primary care in the same setting. Psychiatric and primary care doctors work together, making patient care a one-stop shop. The model, being used at the primary care clinic, has proven to reduce trips to the emergency department by more than 70%. And the Joint Commission has recognized several departments, including the Infection Control Committee, the Women Infant Department, the Glycemic Management Team, and Patient Care Services for Outstanding Programs. Check out Sinai Grace today for more detailed information on their great work. Sinai Grace welcomes nurse manager Becky McNew to our Sinai Grace family. She joins the 6 East Geriatric Oncology Unit. Becky brings 20 years of nursing experience in management, general management, and surgery. She is also a graduate of the University of Detroit Mercy. And if you haven't had an opportunity to take advantage of the beauty bargains at Sinai Grace's Cosmetic Center, you still have time. The incredible discounts have just been extended until the end of September. Get Botox for $9.99 a unit. Pick any two Vivite products and get a free Latisse while supplies last. Plus, get a 20% discount on Jane Iredale Mineral Makeup. Call the Cosmetic Center at 248-414-3203 for more details. As part of Sinai Grace Hospital's ongoing commitment to emergency preparedness, the hospital participated in the Detroit Readiness 2011 Crisis Training Exercise. Tina Taylor has more. Sinai Grace just participated in the Detroit Readiness 2011 exercise. I'm here with Linda Luoma, who helped organize the exercise here at Sinai Grace. Linda, tell us a little bit about what happened downtown during the exercise. Well, it was a major exercise which included 60 different agencies um, from the Detroit metro area as well as international because it was an event that also Windsor participated in. So we had both borders involved, the waterfront, as well as on land here, responding to major explosion, a lot of smoke, a lot of casualties, near drownings, and so, so forth as our victims were brought ashore. And I know that the incident included um, the Detroit Princess boat. Obviously, there was a simulated explosion, which had a lot of casualties. What did that mean for us here at Sinai Grace? How did we um, participate in the exercise? As a hospital in the Detroit metro area and being a trauma 2 hospital, we would be in line to receive casualties that would be triaged at the shoreline. Mm -hmm. So what we did was participate as if we were receiving these patients. Mm -hmm. We were in line to receive anywhere from 30 to 60 patients. Mm -hmm. um, our simulated victims, we did triage and decon 36 patients yesterday throughout our tent and recycling them back through. What we found was we had information partial information so we were able to test ourselves on how well we could work under that type of stress putting them through as well as being able to maintain the functioning of the hospital without any interruption. Mm -hmm. And so what do we learn from this sort of exercise? What, what is the benefit to us? Well, as we all know, the world changed with 9-11. Mm -hmm. So with that, we need to be readily prepared at all times to respond to any type of emergency. So what we will do is take all the information from all our observers and people who participated, work back through all of our plans and re-exercise, retrain, purchase equipment so that we can always be stand up and ready for any type of emergency. Well, thank you so much for helping the hospital get so prepared. And thank you also to all the volunteers who came out and helped us as well. I'm Tina Taylor for Sinai Grace Today. I've heard that cracking your knuckles can cause arthritis in your hands. Is this true? 
This is a very interesting question. I often have, uh, particularly parents, bring their children in who like to crack, crack their knuckles and ask me if this is going to lead to arthritis in the future. Uh, first of all, the, what the process is, what happens when you crack your knuckles is you cause a small air bubble to form in, a, in the joint, uh, which is a synovial joint between two bones, and then that bubble burst, and that's the cracking sound that you uh, hear. Uh, but the literature clearly shows that uh, cracking your knuckles does not lead to arthritis in the future. There are a couple limited reports that uh, suggest or have or where people have um, had tendon or ligamentous injuries with uh, cracking their knuckles. Uh, so arthritis is not caused by cracking, this knuck cracking your knuckles and this myth is busted. For these stories and more, you can visit our Facebook and YouTube pages for every episode of Sinai Grace Today. I'm Melanie Moss. Thanks for watching.